Okay, so I've already done a vegan fridge tour and I've already shown you my sort of fruit stash. So I thought it'd be a good idea if I did a whole cupboards tour to show all the sort of vegan things that we have in the house. So I hope you enjoy this. Okay, so if you can see here, you can see also reduced bananas that I got here um, from Sainsbury's. Um, always a good idea to look out for the discount sort of fruits, vegetables and things. Might as well take advantage of it. Could go to waste otherwise. So yeah, I picked up those. Here's some fruit I've got here. So now look here, we've got some soy milks, uh, water we got. That was from Aldi. That was good. And now we're looking here into uh, main cupboard here. Lots of tins and stuff. Okay, so where do we start? Um, I've got tofu, different kinds of tofu. Tofu's good. Uh, made from soybeans. We've got all the milks here. We've got almond breeze. I like a bit of almond milk. Um, almond milk, soy milk, hazelnut milk. All that stuff. We've got loads, loads of that big stock of that. Uh, coconut milk as well. Um, so let's just put that back. Um, what other tins have we got? So we've got things like coconut milk, we've got chickpeas, uh, black eyed beans. Um, what else have we got? Uh, tinned fruit, always handy as a backup. Gooseberries and pineapple, some baked beans, which I don't like, but they're there. Kidney beans are always good. Uh, what else have we got? Um, some Heinz 5 bean. I don't particularly like this because it's quite salty, but uh, it's interesting to try. Um, there's lots of different Heinz things. Quite a few Heinz products are vegan, I believe. Uh, it was just good to check. Um, what else we got beans? There's some Heinz fajita beans we got. They're quite nice. Uh, chickpeas, what else we got? More fruit. So that's basically it. And then we've got lots of different tin things. Uh, mostly kind of beans, lentils, that sort of stuff. Um, you know, some tomato, tin tomatoes we often have as well. Coconut milks, make them for curries. Um, what else have we got? Um, so it's just a good idea to put that back. Okay, so now we've got these crisps here. And you can see there are these handmade, handmade vegetable crisps. And, I mean, I don't particularly like crisps because they're quite oily and salty, but it's always good, and these are quite, quite good quality. It says, a lot of vegan crisps, these like salt and shake kind of style. So it's alright to try. And some vegetable crisps, beetroot crisps there. I think we've got some apple ones as well. And now I've got more bananas, because bananas. Why not? Like good bananas. Here's all the fruit stash that we got. <laughs> we've got pineapples, we've got grapes, pears, apples, you know, oranges. It's all good. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, prawn cocktail crisps, bacon rashes. They're all vegan. Do it. It's always good to know that bacon crisps are vegan, if you like that kind of thing. We've got pit bricks. Uh, some noodles, whole wheat noodles. They're quite cheap. We've got some uh, rice cakes and some whole wheat blueberry cereal. Rice cakes are good. So yeah, more stuff there. Uh, you can see the prawn cocktail are actually vegan. They're from, um, all from Aldi. And now we've got here, shreddies, uh, which are vegan. I don't particularly like shreddies because they're quite salty. We've got porridge as well, but porridge is good. Um, shreddies, oh, what else have got? Weetabix, this is a cheap, cheap Weetabix, but Weetabix is um, vegan. It's good stuff. Um, a pit of breads. And now we're going into um, this kind of tray thing that we've got all kind of nuts and things in. So here we've got some walnuts that were left over. Uh, what else we got? Some mixed nuts. Uh, pistachios there. Um, these little strawberry fruit bars. Which are quite nice and they're always good little sweets. They're basically made from fruit and fruit juices. So they're always nice. We get those from Aldi. And these um, little sort of cereal uh, uh, bars. I don't particularly like them, but good thing, and they're vegan. And these are the apricot ones, but they also have like banana and strawberry and some other flavors. Although some of them do have honey in them, so it's a good thing to check for that. Not all of them are vegan. Uh, but yeah, you should be able to see those around Aldi stores. At least we're good at this time. Aldi's always changing, so you don't really know. What else we got? Um... Yeah, cashews. Um, plenty of cashews, of course. I don't really have that many nuts, but you know, should have a store of them. Uh, berry mix, got some like 
poppy seeds, sesame seeds, mixed seed, pumpkin seeds, sunflower. Milled thin seeds, these raspberry ones are really nice if you put them in cereal and things, sprinkle them in smoothies and stuff like that. Really work well. Um, really good um, source of omega-3, which is very good. Higher than fish and all this thing. And uh, yeah. What else have we got? Uh, more nuts and seeds. Basically, uh, here's the plain ones. Plain ones are good for more like savoury meals, like you can sprinkle it on curry or something. Getting your omega-3 and then chia seeds, which are really cool. They're basically high in everything, like iron and stuff. Not super cheap, but they last for ages. Um, got like omega-3 and protein and all this rubbish. <laughs> protein. But yeah, um, iron, and you can see all the calcium and stuff that's in them. So yeah, very nutritious things to have, you know, like a tablespoon of chia seeds or linseeds seeds sprinkled on your food and, you know, just gets your extra nutrients. So I always recommend chia and linseed. Chia, um, yeah. Uh, well, we've got rice there, pasta, um, there's some tomato puree with chili, um, some sun-dried tomatoes, um, and was that lentils? I think some red lentils. You know, they just take too much time though, I like tin lentils. And there's some organic vegetable stock cubes, which I don't particularly like, but I don't know, they were vegan. There's plenty of different flavours. I think they have a mushroom one, there's a tomato one. Um, I think we've got a tomato one here, yeah, tomato and herb. And I mean, they're organic, they're good. And here's some taco shells. Taco shells are good. Um, if you make a vegan chilli, put your stuff in there, you know. Some vegan mayonnaise, sprinkle it on there, maybe put some lettuce there. And now we've got stuffing, vegan. You know, no, no meat, dairy and eggs in that. Quite a few stuffings, most most of them are vegan, unless they've got like obvious meat or eggs or something in them. Most of them are pretty good. So let's just skip that. What else we got? Okay, now we're in here. Um other main cupboard. Okay, so now we've got a big store of Alpro yogurts. They're the dark chocolate ones. Here's the um, more dark chocolate. And I think we've got the Belgian chocolate ones, which are um, quite nice. I think I prefer the Belgian ones. Don't have them that much anymore, but they're, they're really nice. And then we've got lots of spices and herbs, which are obviously vegan. And here we've got some, I think it's our fruit, uh, dried fruit stuff. And there's also um, some coconut in there as well. Uh, here's, I think, nuts, or no, seeds even. That's our little seeds pot. You can see all this sort of omega stuff. Uh, put the camera down and just sort of open it up to show you some of the stuff. Well, that was a bit pointless because you can't see it, but uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so basically we have nuts, seeds, and dried fruit. <laughs> you know, a good store. It's good because they always last for ages. Here's some egg replacer, um, all gone. You can get it in health shops, you can get it online on Amazon, places like that. Completely vegan, equals up to 66 eggs. So it's very cheap, it's only about a couple of pound. And we always get this, you make cakes, you make biscuits, you can make meringues, Yorkshire puddings, all that sort of thing. Egg replacer, it's cheap, ethical. No chickens are harmed, it's all good. You know, good for you. <laughs> Mustard, because that's vegan. Uh, what else we got? Corn flour, some spices and stuff. Oh, this little vegan kind of marmite stuff. Marmite is vegan, but this was kind of a vegan-y one we got from the health store. It's three pounds. Oh, it was quite nice. Um, it's just not that bad if you like that kind of thing. I hate it, but it's all right. I hate marmite as well, though. It's a bit... I used to like it. Not anymore. Olives. Nutmeg. Nutmeg's cool. I've also got some red onion chutney that's vegan, so that's always cool. Uh, some soy sauce. Quite a lot of soy sauces are completely vegan. Check out for fish, but you know, most of them don't. Also whole chestnuts. Chestnuts are good. What else we got? Um, have a look. Ground nut oil, which is made from peanuts, and uh, probably various random oils, which aren't good for you. And I don't recommend having higher quantities of them. But you know, vegan gravy, vegetable gravy. Most vegetable gravies are um, 
vegan, as you imagine. Just check out for anything dodgy. But yeah. What's we got in here? Um, oh yeah, loads of different rices. We've got wild rice. Got white rice, you know, like basmati and all that. I think quinoa, corn, grain, you know, the, um, long grain, I think, as well. That's some kind of other rice. Probably sticky rice is in there somewhere. Risotto rice. Um, some kind of pudding rice. Many rices. I like rice, you see. And quinoa. Quinoa is good. It's a, it's a grain. It's a, no, it looks a little bit like rice, but it's not rice. So I always recommend trying quinoa. Quinoa is good. And now looking here, various jams, like, um, um, things like that. Tahini, it's uh, made from sesame seeds, kind of sesame seed butter as such. Make hummus with that. We've got rhubarb and custard jam. Jam's good. Uh, cashew butter. <laughs> that is a thing. And it's better than peanut butter, so. Good stuff. And you can see all the minerals and vitamins in there, like iron and all that. You know, nuts are pretty nutrient dense. Quite good stuff. I mean, I don't recommend having that many of them, but yeah, definitely, you know, worth a bit there. Cocoa powder. It's good stuff. Um, yeah, all cocoa powders are vegan. Most of them are, at least, you know, as long as they don't have dairy powder in them. Okay, yeah. So we've got vanilla essence, it's vegan. Uh, what else we got? Um, some pickled onions. Which are always nice, if you like that kind of thing. Uh, ginger jam. That's actually really nice. I do recommend ginger jam. It's worth trying. I do like my jam. Blackcurrant jam. Um, or conserve, if that's what you want to call it. I don't know. It's jam. Marmalade, same thing. Apricot jam. All the kinds of jam. Strawberry jam's good as well. I like the jam. It's very sugary. I like that. Anyway, coconut milk. Nice and sweet. Anyway. Uh, coconut oil, um, good for everything. If you want to cook it, cook it. I like to put it on my skin and hair and stuff, but you know, coconut oil. There's like some random tomato -y sauces, like this is a chili one, we got it from Aldi. Most pasta sauces and those kind of tomato -y based sauces are vegan. Just check in case they've only got kind of dairy or anything like that in them. Most of them are good. Uh, uh, B12, um, yeast flakes. Obviously, there's all this B12 stuff. Have some yeast flakes. They taste kind of nutty and cheesy and that sort of thing. You can make nice cheese sauces with these stuff. This stuff. So I recommend using those. What else have we got? Um, okay. There's more rice here, I think. We've got black rice, maybe. Some kind of black rice. Thai black rice, it's good stuff. It looks a bit black, and red rice looks quite red, kind of red. And you know, if you like that kind of thing, I like loads of different rices, so get the rice. Rice is good. Um, what we got here? Is it corn flour? No. Uh, lasagna, lasagna sheets, pasta. You know. Find vegan pasta, you know, it's, it's all vegan stuff, unless it's got eggs in it, but, I mean, who gets egg pasta? Idiots, that's who. Anyway, chestnut puree. You know, like that stuff. And what else have we got? Oh, there we go. Alpro. Soya single cream. <laughs> if you like that kind of thing, you know, we've got that to try. So yeah, there's all this stuff. Uh, now it's a good time to put it all away. Now, okay, we've got vegetable spring rolls with my smoothie. I just thought it'd be cool to show you. Got them from Aldi. Um, quite nice. Go good with rice and curry and stuff like that. So yeah, I recommend getting this. So yeah, that's me done. So I'll see you later. Hope you enjoyed that and found it useful. Uh, feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.